This winter should be very interesting. We should have a very interesting winter this year. And I'll explain why. So this winter, we have, we are, right now, the Pacific Decadal Oscillation right now is giving me mixed signals. You know, this signal right here signals a cool PDO, and this signal right here signals a warm PDO. So it could flip either way. First, I have to look like what's going on in the warm water here. Is it warm? Is it getting warmer or cooler in the Western Pacific, especially in, on the coast of northern Japan, south of Alaska, around the um, around this latitude here? This is the big. This is you want to cool. You want it to cool down here. From what I'm seeing, it is trying to cool down here. So this could be giving me a mixed signal. Let's look at let's look at about early in the month and see where we're saying. Oh yeah, it's definitely going. It's definitely going towards a positive, towards a warm PDO. All this cold water starting to form. So this is giving me a positive signal for snow. All this cold water that's forming. That's also bad news for the Pacific. So, as I said earlier in the month, very. This is a very cold signal for the West Coast. Cold, cold, cold warm waters all across the northern hemisphere I mean all right right across the 40 degrees north latitude all these warm waters especially between 180 and 160 degrees um, uh, east uh, so let's look now at what's going on now cold yeah very so warm signal here so so it looks like we are going to get more coastal storms. Clipper system that could become, become big storms. And because we're having La Nina, this favors blocking. And the blocking could mean big storms. Um, the, the year 13, 14 was more of a neutral pattern. So neutral patterns favor big storms for the East Coast, usually. And we're starting to get a, a bit of a, which starting to go into La Nina a little bit right now. So my prediction for this winter is anywhere from 40 to 60 inches of snow for New York City. 40 inches in the low end inspection. If we don't get a lot of big blizzards, maybe if we get a couple smaller storms, and 60 or more if we get blizzards. But my right, my estimate is 40 to 60. We're definitely going to get colder weather and more snow than last winter. Um, Boston might see up to 80 inches of snow, and that's because of the anomalies. Usually, during these blocking patterns, Eastern New England gets blanketed with snow. The only reason we might not get such a strong blocking is because of the cold waters here. But I was talking about the same exact thing during the 14, 15 uh, winter. Um, um, let's look at uh, 14 uh, October around the same time. Um, so, the, so yeah, it looks like a, like a uh, pretty strong blocking pattern type setup was trying to develop, but. We're having warm waters here, so that did not favor strong blocking. Let's look at December. Um, once again, does not favor strong blocking. Eh, it does a little bit here, but the blocking, the the La the, the, um, the North Atlantic Oscillation was mostly negative. I mean, positive, which fav which is not favor blocking. It has to be negative. So there was not a lot of blocking that winter. The only reason we had a lot of snow in the 15 winter was because, as, as I said, the PDO. The, the very positive PDO would trigger pieces of polar vortex to break off and big Arctic plunges to, to develop. And these Arctic plunges allow, would allow the clipper systems, which are Pacific storms that cross over the Rockies and, and the um, Canadian mountains, Canadian Rockies, and then they head down the slopes of uh, you know, Alberta, Alberta clippers. Alberta clippers usually take tracks like this. They don't usually become nor'easters. But there was an exception. One particularly strong clipper system came down and towards the pretty far south, went off the coast of the Carolinas and went up the east coast. And it bombed out once it hit the anomaly, which that time was pretty far north. Further south anomaly would trigger a storm that could bomb out sooner and bring more snow to the east coast. So the anomaly was pretty close to the coast. This time around, the anomaly is further, a little further to the south. So this means, 
winter storms could bomb out right as soon as they hit North Carolina. So yeah, this this pattern as well favors big snowstorms. So yes, we are gonna get a snowy winter. This is just a prelim preliminary forecast. I have to, you know, go in detail. I mean, I'm recording a computer with an iPad, so I don't have a lot of resources right now. But what I can say is this winter is going to be cold and snowy. My prediction for this winter is 20, uh, 40 to 60 inches of snow, and mostly in coastal storms, clipper systems, maybe because, and, and maybe these. And because um, we're having it, a PDO of, we could get a couple of Pacific storms. And because we're having La Nina, it's also favors some basically mm, troughiness across most of the country. So it's could allow storms to maybe crisscross the country, like the Middle East just along the coast. So you could get these type of storms and also. Storms that do that as well. It doesn't really favor storms that come out of the subtropics, so we won't have to worry about that. But we could get a couple of upper level s systems that go into California, become storms along the East Coast, and combine with clipper systems um, to become nor'easters. But the main track will be like that if this becomes very positive, if this becomes very warm. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.